Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are just joining me now then I would love it if you would stick around and hit that subscribe button. Also if you'd like to check me out on Instagram I'll leave that somewhere on the screen now. And today's video is going to be all about my skincare. I have updated my skincare. I have struggled with my skin for the longest time sort of. I think ever since I turned sort of 18 I want to say that's when my skin just started to get loads of spots and I didn't understand why and I think the problem I think I, I think I understand now it was because my skin would always come up as really really greasy but my actual skin was really dry so when I would feel my skin yes it would be really oily on top but the actual skin itself was really really dry so that was my body's way of trying to moisturize my skin my body was forcing oils out so that my skin wouldn't be so dry and whenever i would try and explain this to, to people who were you know selling skincare products they would always recommend combination skin products and that's just not for me what i needed was moisture i needed some hydration and my skin needed moisture so the brand that i have gone with at the moment and that seems to be working so much better for my skin is elemis and i have only been using them for a little while i only use a couple of products so i use two cleansers this one's a cleansing balm this one is just you know a regular cleanser that foams up in your hands and you wash it on and then I have my day and night cream and the reason why I've kept it so simple for now is just because I didn't want to try out loads of skin products and I don't know upset the balance of my face even more so I just thought I'll give it a go I'll try this range with Elemis and see how it is because I'd heard so many nice things about Elemis so I just thought give them a give a couple of products a go first see if my skin reacts well to it and then I might add some more products in as I go along I might not always just stick to one brand I do think that I'll once my skin is you know like I'm really really happy with it which at this moment in time I am happy with my skin so soon or you know sometime in the future I will be getting more products sort of I want to try out um, exfoliators and I want to try using like hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid and things like that and serums you know so I just want to start off with a small collection and then build up as I go along if you can see any spots on my face right now guaranteed it's scarring so that is one thing about my skin as well it clings on to pigmentation so once a spot is gone I have the pigmentation there so I might not have the spot but I've still got red dots and that's generally what's going on with my chin at the moment I do have one spot under the skin but I do think that's just hormonal so apart from this one that is so so good for me I will leave up on the screen right now pictures of my skin of how it has been in the past and having one spot is an absolute like upgrade for me and I'm not bothered when I have one because before I used to have a full forehead of spots and a full chin of spots and then the odd ones on my cheeks so yeah so I'm just going to get into it now the first thing I'm going to use is the cleansing balm now I don't use these two together every single day and night sometimes I feel like when I use these two together it's more when I've had makeup on and I want to take it off with a balm and then do a double cleanse and use this straight after. Just for morning and night, if I'm not wearing any makeup like I am now, I would just use this or this. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you both because sometimes I do use both even if I haven't had makeup on that day because I just think, oh, my skin feels like it just needs an extra cleanse. So I do sometimes do the two together even if I haven't had makeup on. So this one that I'm using is Pro Collagen Energizing Marine Cleanser and then this is just the Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Now I do think that this brand is, this collection sorry not the brand, I do think this collection is more aimed for anti-aging which it does say on the packaging, it says anti-wrinkle day cream and I think this one says the same, yeah so it's anti-aging. I personally feel like that's probably why it's worked so well on my skin because you know for anti-aging products it's 
plumping the skin, it's giving moisture, so that's what I needed. I necessarily did not need an anti-aging cream, but I think that that's what's in the product that's making my skin better, if that makes sense. So yeah, I really, really like this collection. I love the smell. This balm, if you've not tried this balm, it smells like a spa. It's really, really nice. Oh, I love it. That That is such a nice end of the day product to take your makeup off with. It's just so relaxing and smells like a spa. It's just, I really, really love this. And the day cream actually has SPF in it, which that's really, really good. And I'm glad it's got SPF in because even on days where it's not sunny, you still need to be wearing SPF. And the reason why I do really like this one is because it's not, you know, when you put SPF on your face, it feels like, ugh, like you've got this like texture. This one doesn't have that. And I really, really like it. It just feels the exact same as the one that has no SPF in because they do both. So they do the one with SPF and then they do a version without SPF. My mum has the one without SPF and they feel the same. There's no difference. So I would just recommend going for the SPF personally. So I'm going to show you now, now I've spoken a bit about them. Sounds like I'm sponsored by this product. I wish, I wish, maybe one day. But as of right now, probably don't even know I exist, but you know. So I just put this on. I always use the balm first because then this melts down the makeup and just makes it so easy to remove. I don't know why I feel like it makes me speak a bit funny because it's oil on my face. But I still really like it. Oh, it smells amazing. Love the smell. I never used to double cleanse, but these days I just feel like you just need to when you've had makeup on. You don't necessarily need to when you don't have makeup on, but I just love it when you have a full face makeup on. I just feel like it gets off that like, extra bit that you just don't, you want to get it all off don't you at the end of the day and it just gets rid of everything. So that is what I do, I massage it in, I like to take a bit of time to massage my face. I love using this. And then I'm just going to rinse my hands. And then I take a little flannel, this actually came with that balm and I just run it under the warm tap. I love using a nice hot flannel to take this off and it just gives a really gentle exfoliant as well seeing as I don't have an exfoliator at the minute it is really nice to exfoliate my skin with this. I always try and push up with any creams and any products and also with this. I like to scrub a bit around my nose because that always seems to be the areas that get most dry patches. I mean, like I said, my skin has been a lot better using these products but still my nose just seems to get a bit dry just around the edges and I have, I can, I can be a bit naughty and pick the dry skin which you know you shouldn't do. but. That's just the cold weather at the minute. So I'm going to use my next product. After using just that, my face just feels very hydrated and that's just that alone, no moisturiser. So I love that. And then I use one pump of this. This smells really fresh, completely different scent to the other. I use this just as is, I don't put any water with it, I wash it off after with water. But this is very, very fresh smelling. Like I said, the other one is more spa smelling, which obviously spa smelling is fresh, but it's just got some essential oils in that one that just make it so relaxing and just absolutely luxurious. Whereas this one just smells a bit more like daytime, if that makes sense. So. I use this one mainly a day, mainly in the day. I'll use this one, and then at night time I'll use the balm. Or like I said, if I've had makeup on, I'll use both. So I've just got my tap running, and I'm just rubbing this away now. This does foam up, 
so obviously you can't really tell when I'm using this flannel but if I was just to use my hands and rub this off with water it does foam up Then I wring it out, squeeze, and I don't like to dry my face, I prefer just using the cloth I've wringed out and wiping over my face. And then I have my moisturiser because I have heard, oh I'll turn that tap off, I have heard that it's better applying moisturiser when your face is a little bit damp. So oh, that's my day cream. So because it is the evening time now, I'm going to be using my night cream, which is the Pro Collagen Oxygenating Night Cream. My mum has the, um, what do you call it, the Marine Night Cream, which is a little bit different because this one is white inside. Hers is like a yellowy colour. And hers, I just feel like it's a little bit thicker. It feels on my skin like it is very thick, her one. Whereas this one, I just feel like sinks in so much nicer and doesn't leave my face feeling super tacky. I just th think my face feels really moisturised and just right. So yeah, I just push it up and I always like to go up my neck, move my hair. I have a mirror here above the sink, so that's why I'm looking there. Push up my face. Oh, it feels so nice. And there we go. That's everything. Super simple, but that's what I do and that is what has helped my skin. Okay, so that's everything I've got for you today, guys. If you did enjoy this video, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And also, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.